Hey, what's up guys? This is Justin with wingsound.com. In this video, you'll learn how to use and create your own multi-band compressor using the Pro Tools 8 Digi EQs. Let's check it out. So first thing you want to do is create four stereo auxiliary tracks. Shift Command N for new track, four, stereo, and aux. So I'm going to rename these. Aux 1 will be low. Aux 2 will be low mid. Aux 3 will be high mid. And Aux 4 will be high. So now this is how you're going to break up your song into separate frequency ranges. So you can compress those separate frequency ranges. And that's what a multiband compressor does. So next thing you want to do on your track with your song, you want to change the output to bus that you're not using. So bus 1, 2. Then what you want to do is on those aux tracks, you want to change their inputs to that corresponding bus that you just used for the output. So bus 1, 2. Next thing you want to do is instantiate the Digi 7 band EQ on all of these auxiliary tracks. So for the low, what you want to do is a low pass filter, 24 dB octave, and you want the frequency to be 120 hertz. So you're cutting out everything above 120 hertz. You're filtering it out. So for the low mid, you want a low pass and high pass filter, 24 dB octave. And for the low pass filter, you want it to be at 1.5K. And then for the high pass filter, you want it at 120 hertz. So you're cutting out everything below 120 hertz and everything above 1.5K for the low mid. Now for the high mid, same thing, you want a low pass and high pass filter, 24 dB octave. For the low pass, you want it to be at 5K. And for the high pass, you want it to be at 1.5K. So now you're cutting out everything below 1.5K and everything above 5K. So now for the high, you want to create a high pass filter, 24 dB octave, and you want the frequency at 5K. So now you're cutting out everything below 5K. You're filtering it out. So now that you've separated all of those frequency ranges, just add a compressor on all of those auxes. And now you have separate control over compressing those separate frequency ranges. So let's just hear the lows. Now let's hear the low, low mids. All the way up to the temple. And there's a beautiful rhythm. High mids. And then see the movement. Our young bamboo shoulders can carry many times our weight. And now the highs. So now let's just hear this with the new compression on it. Our young, nimble shoulders can shrug at a cutting edge rate. All the way and now let's hear the original track before. You did that compression. Our young, nimble shoulders. So, you know, you can balance out your frequency ranges with the compression. You know, maybe some things you want to compress a little harder to make the lows a little bit more punchy and maybe compress the highs a little bit more to make them more cohesive sounding. 